hero. And, and I was like, like no. no. <laughs> I felt like a princess, to be honest. I know why I liked how it looked on you, because I picked that out. I did not like it. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. And if you didn't know, I got married. She did get married. <laughs> but today, we are going to be talking about Ronnie's wedding dress. We're also going to be talking about the dresses she tried on and why she didn't choose them yes. and why she chose the dress she chose. And so we're basically going to be doing a wedding dress review. We didn't vlog it because no. We didn't think to vlog it, but we have <laughs> pictures. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for marriage. <laughs> All the dresses Ronnie tried on were so beautiful. It was really hard for her to pick. This is what I was looking for. I wanted something simple, something that would match the vibe of a court wedding, which is what my wedding was. I didn't want something too like, whoa. So I just wanted something like sleek and chic and simple. And we took as many pictures as we can because a dress can look really pretty in person, but sometimes dresses on camera don't really look good depending on setting, the lighting, you know, just anything. So you have to make sure to take pictures of dresses so they look good on camera. <laughs> So this is the first dress I tried on. This um, dress is It was so definitely pretty. the vibe that I wanted. I think what I didn't like about the dress itself was the top part. It kind of did like this weird angle angle. I don't know. It was very pretty, but it also felt like something that I've already worn. Like at a red carpet event, I wanted my dress to be something that I felt like I haven't worn yet. Well, I, I also thought this dress was just gorgeous and so pretty. Um, it but had that like mermaid shape to and it. And also you guys see that there's clips on it. It's because when you go to the wedding dress stores, they only have sample sizes for you to try on. If you say yes to the dress, they will order the dress for you and then tailor it to fit you. Yes. So that's why in all of the pictures you will see there are clips on Ronnie because it's a kind of a bigger dress. For the first dress I tried on, loved it, but I wasn't vibing with it. So, I really like this one with the bow, the big bow in the back. I think it's gorgeous. It wasn't me. It this wasn't one didn't Ronnie, feel no. like me. It, it was really, really pretty. I wasn't a big fan of the bottom half of it, but I liked the top. I think it really shaped my body nicely, but yeah, from the side, it looked a little off. I think the front was pretty, but it just, I am obsessed with the big bow in the back though. Yeah. The, the bow is really I just pretty. didn't like the bottom part, how it just, I don't know, it felt like a lot. Still a gorgeous dress. Okay, so this dress I really, really loved. I thought it fit me really nicely. I liked the little belt. I loved the cape that it had. I liked the material, it wasn't a lace and I thought it was it would be perfect for a court wedding. This was the back of it. It just had really pretty detail and like the cape and the train was so pretty. All of us really liked this dress as an option for the court wedding. Um, we ended up not being able to go with this because when you're ordering wedding dresses, you have to order them way ahead in advance and my wedding was going to be within like four months, so they wouldn't have been able to have this dress in time. So, as why we did not go with that one, but it was it was a top contender. It was classy, it was a little different. I really liked this one a lot, and sadly, it just was not the one. We also felt like it was very Greek goddess-like, and I just didn't really want my dress to have like a theme to it. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't want it, I didn't want people to be like, oh my gosh, like you, you have like a, a cape, like a superhero, like a Greek goddess type thing. I just didn't want that vibe. It's but still gorgeous. Still and beautiful. like when you put it on, I did not think Greek goddess when I first saw it. Um, but then when we went home and showed our dad the picture, he was like, a cape, a cape, like a superhero. And, and we I was like, like no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that one was like second place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this dress was really, really pretty. I liked it. I liked that it was long sleeve. The sleeves, the detail, it's really gorgeous. I think this one was not it because in person it didn't feel like it was it and like the way it photographed on camera. The lace up here felt felt kind of awkward. <laughs> it looks like, like you're kind of stuck. Yeah, it looks like an optical illusion. Only just see my shoulders. It was a beautiful dress. It's a very but pretty dress. You know
know what it was? I didn't like the lace against the plain satin. Felt like it kind of clashed. I don't know. It, it's still a gorgeous dress. I just don't think it was you. Yeah. Anyway, this was not the vibe. Oh, that one's so pretty. But like I said, I wanted something very simple. This one to me felt too lacy for me. Oh, it looks so pretty though. It was really, really pretty. Uh, I had this really pretty like train on the back. It's beautiful, gorgeous, the lace was pretty. It just didn't feel like it was right for the court wedding. And again, like it's kind of hard to like imagine what a dress is gonna look like because it's all clipped. So yeah. it's, you know, you have to like remember that too. <laughs> so then we went to another wedding dress store because we found out that the wedding, the first wedding place wasn't able to get any of those dresses in time. Whereas this place was able to get the dress in time for the court wedding. So this was one of the first dresses I tried on at this bridal store. And it was very pretty. Um, it had like sequins, it had lace. Um, the design of it was just beautiful. But to me, it felt like very red carpety and not so much like a wedding. Like, you know, I wanted to feel like a bride. This one felt like I was about to go on a red carpet and be photographed for an event or an award show. It's still a gorgeous dress. And it looks really good in this photo. It does, it was really pretty. But see, look, look, it looks very red carpet. Like yeah. old Hollywood. It's, uh, it's still gorgeous. Okay, so <laughs> this dress, <laughs> um, I loved the idea of a bow. Um, it was, it, it, it was Okay, you guys, it's very pretty, but it, the top was see-through, which was not my vibe, like that sheer material. And I was like, mm -hmm, very sheer. I felt very exposed. And then they had to clip the front because it was just gapping open. And I'm a kind of a small chested lady. And it wasn't, it just wasn't very flattering, so they had to like clip it. And then the bow is really pretty. The it's skirt. a pretty dress with it pretty um, detailing. And I do like the bow. You can, look, even in the picture, Ronnie doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't even feel, you can tell she doesn't feel comfortable in it. This is just it was, not Ronnie's vibe. It was not my vibe, but you know, it is what it is. It was cute. Yeah, oh! And then she put on the veil. Oh, right. Because the veil had a bow on it. And she was like, I have a veil with a bow and I, you should try it with this dress. I loved the veil with the bow, but I just didn't like how it looked with that dress. It just didn't feel right. Yeah, it didn't fit. This was a really pretty dress. Really but like pretty. I said, I really felt like for the wedding that I wanted, I wanted something more sleek. And this was just very lacy. And again, the top was sheer, which they would be able to put something under it. It just felt like plain. I feel like we were saying this a lot. It just wasn't my vibe. This wasn't Ronnie. It's still gorgeous. It's still gorgeous. And like, still she looks beautiful. so pretty in all the dresses. And Thank like the dresses you. are all amazing, but maybe for something different. Yeah, it was it was okay. Oh, and then I guess it it came with a veil, which it looked really pretty with the veil, but yeah. I didn't really I didn't want a long veil for a court wedding, so I was even debating on wearing a veil at all. Like I didn't know if I wanted one or not. We all convinced her she needed yeah. it. We we're like, you need one. I mean it looks really pretty with the veil. It looks so pretty. Like it totally adds to it. Yeah. Just not not the one. <gasps> okay. Oh, this um, one was so pretty. I really wanted to try something with like some sleeves, like loose flowy sleeves. I did not like this dress, just being completely honest. The design, the gown itself was just beautiful. I just didn't like how it looked on me. Wait, but I like how it looks on you. I don't like how it looks on me. It was a very heavy dress. This situation right here. Wait, I know why I think I liked how it looked on you because I picked that out with Jasmine for you to try on. I did not like it. It was just a lot. It's too much. To me, it doesn't feel very bridal. Like I just, I wanted to feel like a bride. This one felt like, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I well, just, I wasn't a fan. You can see on your face, you're not a fan. You see, see, I'm like, ah. <laughs> uh, I'm can like, I can, I, can I change? <laughs> Get this off me. Moving on. So this dress was okay. It was really, really pretty. This was along the vibe of what I wanted. You know, just like the more plain, not so much uh, lace. 
I will say it was very low cut. Like it just like went all the way to my like my the bottom of my ribs. And to me that wasn't very comfy, but it was still a gorgeous dress and I liked how it looked and to me it felt very simple, very elegant. But you guys need to know that I tried this on after I tried on my wedding dress that I chose. So I was like, mmm. <laughs> So we went to a total of three stores and I forgot that we went to another store. So we're gonna show you some more before we talk about how I chose my dress and why I liked it. I think this dress is pretty. It's pretty. I think, you know, Ronnie, she just wanted something simple. She wanted something more like, like I just wanted that sleekness of a wedding dress. The design on it was really pretty. The, the design, the details, the embellishment. so gorgeous. Like there are so many gorgeous wedding dresses out there. And this one looks so pretty. It's just, it not was not one. it. This one was also really pretty. Look. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. Yeah, it was, well, no, I didn't like it. It just, because it was such a large sample on me, it just, I just didn't like how it fit. It's still really pretty from the back, the but detail. it also felt like it, it would like fall off. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one was pretty because it was very simple, but it just felt like a lot. I tried on a lot now that I think about it. You tried on so many dresses. That is really pretty though, but it it's gorgeous. Just, it's you look so pretty in it. Just not it. This one's also that really was, pretty. But I just did not want a big dress like that. What are you doing? <laughs> it was like heavily <laughs> padded. Like those are not my boobs. <laughs> it was so padded. Like I was like, I was like, this is rock solid. <laughs> I felt like a princess, to be honest, but it was just a lot. This I, one was really pretty. I really like this one. This one with the the, the detail, high neck. the high neck, and like I like a bunch of detail on it, and it's just like it felt better than the other sheer because the other sheer was like everywhere. I on do top. feel like this is more Ronnie than the other dresses. You know, it just wasn't really the one. Okay, so after all that dress hunting, this is when I tried on my dress. And like we said, she put on the veil the, with the bow and I was just, I loved it. I thought it was so cute. The bow with the veil was a long one, but they told me that there's an option to cut it. So I was like, cut it. I was like, I do not want a long veil. I don't know if you can tell in these photos, I just felt so happy in this. It felt very me. Mm -hmm. It is a sample size still, so it wasn't fitting me the way my actual dress fits me. Like, it still can, looks so tell. similar though. Yeah, it looks similar. But it was also really long. It's really long and like, but look how happy you are in it. You're like, yes, this is it. This, yes. This is the one. They also they let me take off my mask. <laughs> Just so you, if anyone questions it, they're like, you have to try it on without the mask. Yeah, to see how it looks see in how pictures. It looks. And then here I am saying yes to the dress. I'm so like, yay, pretty. I said yes. And thankfully, so this bridal place was able to do a fast shipping of the mm -hmm. dress and fast alteration, and they were able to deliver in time. When Ronnie was trying to decide to say yes to it or not, because we still really loved the other dress that kind of had like that the Greek cape. goddess vibe. We really loved that one, and we were like, should we wait to see if that one is available for the amount of time we have? Or like, should we just go ahead and say yes? And I was like, um, no, this one is it. We all cried. You have to get it or else you're gonna keep trying on dresses and then we're all gonna be like, no, that was the dress. You know, so something about my dress that I didn't know was, I didn't really get to see the back of my dress because it was all clipped up, but when they like unclipped it, I got to see what it looked like off and everyone was like, isn't this so pretty? It's like so trust pretty. us, you know, it had all these buttons and it had some lace in the back mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I like that. When I tried it on for the first time to see what needed to be altered, I turned around and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, the back is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because there's like these long buttons and then the yeah. lace and it was just, just so gorgeous. It was so pretty so and pretty. so perfect. And you know, I know you're not supposed to think like, is Erin going to like this? But like I was thinking that I wanted to make sure that something that I chose, that he, it was something that he was going to like love and look at like when he looked at me and be like, oh my gosh. And it, it, it was right, he, it, he cried when yeah. he saw me. And I don't know who came up with that rule that like you're supposed to choose a dress that you love and you can't 
put in, take into consideration what your future husband would think. I think it's totally okay to think that way. Yeah, I, and, I just you know, wanted she, to make sure that I, I, I had a good feel on what he yeah. would like. Well, and she clearly loved the dress she chose, and like he would have liked it. For, even if I wasn't thinking that way, he would have liked it anyway. He would have so. loved any dress, honestly, that you showed up in because. We are getting married. You're getting married and you're dressing in a white dress. So it was such a fun adventure. And like we said, our advice to anyone <laughs> shopping, take photos. Take photos. Nessa, I could really tell that you wanted to try on a lot of the dresses. I would like look and be like, hmm. she'd be like, Ronnie, try this one on. And then I was like, Nessa, no, that's something you would wear. <laughs> Put it back. Comment down below which dress you liked that Ronnie ended up not choosing. Obviously yeah. her dress was the perfect dress, so do not comment about it. Just comment about the other ones. What are your guys' I mean, opinions? People are going to say, I like this one better, I like this one better. But it I everyone I has, love I love what I chose. At the end of the day, everyone has different tastes, different mm -hmm. style. Everyone you know, wants a certain look for their wedding and they've had an idea for what they want for their wedding. And at the end of the day, it's all up to you. Don't listen to what people say, just pick what you want and what you feel comfortable in and it's going to pay off and you're gonna feel beautiful and comfortable on your wedding day, just like Ronnie did. Yep, I loved it. I loved my dress. I hated trying on so many dresses though. I just, ugh. She got like exhausted. And then and having to like put on dresses and then be like, do you guys like it? <laughs> she, like, I just could not figure out even, if I liked Even the it one she ended up picking, she I was, was like, like, are you guys sure? sure? It's, <laughs> it looks good. And we were like, yes. We're all crying. We're like, yes, it looks good. <laughs> and I'm like, good. okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll say yes. That was Ronnie's dress shopping experience. It was really fun and we hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel by clicking this button right here. Subscribe to our live channel by clicking this button right here. Check out some of the other videos we've done and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.